I'm going to show you guys how to generate the most realistic AI portraits of yourself that I have ever seen. Whether it's for a professional LinkedIn profile photo, or maybe you're just wanting to have a bit of fun. Now this method is very simple and it will give you the best results in comparison to any previous method that I've shown on this channel. So first you want to take several photos of your profile in a nice well lit room standing in front of a white wall. All right, so now let's save all of the photos into a folder. You need a minimum of 10. Now you wanna right click the folder and you wanna go here where it says compress to and you wanna compress it into a zip file. So now let's go to this website called Replicate. Link will be in the description. It will ask you to create a GitHub account if you don't have one already. Now let's go here at the top and let's write Ostris. And yep, this is the one, let's click into it. Now don't get overwhelmed with the interface. I know we are not familiar with this and also as well, it doesn't look like any normal image generation tool. I'm gonna to show you guys a step, it's actually very simple. So first thing I want you to do, we wanna go here and we wanna go create new model, okay? Make sure you select private. Now it's asking us to upload that specific zip file. So let's click into it and let's drag that and you can see there it's uploaded. Now the trigger word will be the word that we use in the prompt when we're using the model, okay? I just used AI Tech Realm, which is the name of the channel, okay? Don't use a word that will be used in a prompt. Let's scroll down where it says Laura Rank, and I'm gonna read this. Higher ranks take longer to train, but can capture more complex features. Caption quality is more important for higher ranks. Let's drag this to about 80, okay? It's okay, you're only gonna have to do this once and it won't take that long. Let's scroll down, you don't have to change anything else and let's click create training. Now the training should appear over here and once it's done, I believe there'll be an option there to run the model, okay? And if it doesn't, that's okay, you just go here, you go to the home page, and you just scroll down where it says here, recent trainings. This is one that I did four days ago. So let's click into it. So you can see there, it now gives me the option to run the train model, okay? So let's click into that. So this is the next interface, and this is where we can actually generate prompts using that model and the image will pop up over here. All right, the first section here will be prompt. That's where we can enter what prompt that we want to generate. Now the aspect ratio is important. Obviously, if you want one by one, which is good for like a LinkedIn profile photo or any sort of social media profile photo, or if you wanna do a movie or something else, you can do 16 by nine. Let's select 16 by nine for now. Let's scroll here where it says number of outputs. And usually with image generators, they output four images at a time. So you have a bunch of them to choose from. But if you want one, you can choose one. Scroll down even further. And I will come back to these in just a second, but I just wanna change this, which is the output format. Make it JPEG or a PNG. I'm gonna do a PNG. All right, so I've got ChatGPT to give me a bunch of prompts. So, so this is the first prompt and you can see there it says AI Tech Realm at the start. What that's doing is that it's calling upon the model that was just created and we wanna generate that within the prompt. So this one's AI Tech Realm as a DJ at a neon cave. Okay, let's see how this one comes out. Let's click run. And on the right here, you will see that it starts generating over here. And the first thing that you wanna take note of is using seed and it'll tell you which seed. So always grab that because if you're happy with this generation, you can scroll down here and you can actually enter the seed here so that it keeps using that specific seed. And this is what I like as well. It has like this percentage completion that just looks so nice. I don't know why I just like that. And there we go. This is the four images. Obviously it's from the back. Let me tell you something right now. Like it's trying to get like, I know you guys can't really see, but I've got like neck tattoos. Like this is exactly my hair. That's literally my shoulder. Like, look, it's even got the filler shirt, but it's changed it up a little bit. But this is literally my face. Like literally, and this is the most trained model that I've ever seen. So even these results, like, and this is first attempt. So I'm just so shocked at how good the results are even here on my arm. Like I've got like an arm, like I've got a tattoo here. Like, wow, it's just, I'm just so shocked at how good this is. Let's do another one, okay? So I've got AI Tech Realm as a pizza delivery guy wearing rollerblades. Let's, let's see what the results come out. So that generation is done. And just FYI, that took less than a minute for me to generate these images, okay? So here's the first result. Obviously it's gone for more of a cartoon look, but it doesn't matter. That's literally my face. 
this is my beard that's my face yep that's me again and that's me again it's also my tattoos and everything as well so obviously it's you know i haven't really defined the prompt but the accuracy and detail of the model is probably the most accurate one that i've used in, in comparison to all of them all right now i'm going to just show you all of the rest of the images that i generated some of them look cool and some of them look funny um here is the first one so all right so yeah i look like mr you know when i showed this to someone they said is that real they actually thought this was real and this was first attempt and i look so nice i think that one was like social media profile photo this was the corporate headshot and i love this one just the fact that i'm there on the computer like that is literally the haircut that i had that day so this is like probably like for i mean corporate profile shots probably the best one that i've used this one was kind of funny because i think the prompt was dating app profile picture uh casual and approachable you know what and especially i mean you don't want to be fake on, on especially on dating apps but you know what that this will get you some hits so guys if you're struggling to take photos just come through here dude this one was funny it was like a, a family portrait uh friendly and warm like you know maybe it's like a photo shoot for the family not bad this is like an actor performer headshot i know that it's the same shirt but to be honest i wasn't really like prompting it like which like what what to wear and stuff so it was just generating it what I already had then i had some fun i generated myself as albert einstein that's my head then i did jack sparrow <laughs> look at this one's one of my favorite ones i like this one then we did elvis like yeah that's i mean there's no sideburns but good enough then we had me as like some sort of medieval <laughs> look at me look at the sword <laughs> but it's still I mean, this is these are all first attempts then we had me as like i think this is like a fitness portrait gym related one not bad this one's funny it's a graduation portrait and i was thinking to myself who would use this well this is great if for those people that lie about their education you can go and generate this image and just tell everyone yeah i went to college so yeah, obviously don't do that i'm just kidding but yeah i just thought what who would do this this is me as harry potter i kind of look like an indian harry potter here this one's nice it was sort of like a, i think it was like an influencer lifestyle portrait yeah not bad i like the top me as the joker kind of scary i like it then we had me in space holding a delivering a pizza that was kind of cool this one was kind of funny this you could also use this for your tinder like yeah i'm a dog person but love the top this was me trying to be the the rock i think like there was a photo of the rock back in like the 80s or something this is the attire that he was wearing this is me as santa claus like you know just having a bit of fun maybe you can show it to the kids me as a sumo wrestler this is me as superman at some sort of place uh and what else do we have then we got me as a surfer riding a pizza we got me as terminator arnold schwarzenegger we got me as a wedding portrait and then also just wolverine as well and let's be honest all of these literally look like me so that's it for the video guys i honestly want you all to forget every method that i've shown you in the past go here try it out i'm telling you it's easy once you set it up it takes two seconds you can just go back there and you can just generate whatever you want i'll see you guys in the next one peace